anyways and yeah i will give you the history of this castle uh, the castle itself is built by a bishop in Baker and yeah it's uh, it become destroyed became destroyed by the Danish uh, allies uh, militars and reconstructed in 1472 and then the castle is uh, it was taken over by the king the Gustav one in 1542 uh, during the Dark War, this castle was rebuilt by Niels Dagi and it was taken over the castle. In 19, 1543, it was returned to the crown again and this castle became a stronghold in this part of Smolans. When it was uh, taken over by the, by the crowns or the king, uh, it became, uh, had a great uh, military significance during that time and uh, they are using this as uh, a support fence beating back to the Danish uh, troops uh, during that war and but in 1570 uh, the castles uh, became destroyed again and burned by the Danish troops uh, uh, but in 1576 and 1580 the reconstructions of this uh, castle is continued and this is uh, King Charles who took over uh, this castle and the castle itself had uh, 50 cannons and uh, uh, but sad to say the Danish troops uh, successfully burned and destroyed this castle uh, but the King Charles XI who ruined this castle and the castle itself it was in a good condition. Now after the Treaty of Roskilde was signed in 1658, the Swedish and Danish border has to be, was moved to Orison, the other place, and the Kronoberg castle lost its military significance. After that, the castles became neglected and became decayed. to the inside the castle and later on guys I will tell you a story about the creepy and scary things about it so stay and enjoy watching and this is the yard and as you can see how spacious inside in the middle of this castle it has a big tree uh, and that tree is 600 years old it's a very old tree That's and as you can see it has a lot of room and uh, yeah it's a big and 
there's a different room in compartment to this castle. And now we're going to go out to the backyard and there, there is a big space there as you can see and the view is the lake and uh, yeah it's beautiful and we're going to uh, go inside again This is another. I want to tell a story about the young ghost, a young lady was showing up during the summertime, and this is the young mom. But believe that this is uh, connected to 600 years ago. Uh, a fresh from the air was found who fell in love with a beautiful young woman, Had, and then this woman has been. That she threw herself through to the castle towers <laughs> during summer night. A white ghost is seen walking through the ruins, leaving complaints and throwing himself into the water. Outside now, and uh, what do you think uh, about this castle? I experienced like uh, this. Not scary. What you think? Going here inside, it's with beautiful scenery around in the green greenery and water, the crystal water, the calmness around, 
yeah it's very peaceful uh, it's worth it to come and visit in this uh, uh, rowing castle and guys and the good thing about it is they have a steamboat as you can see there yeah that's a steamboat and it's 130 years old and still operating during the summertime from the month of May to August uh, and you can ride about two and a half hours for 230 crowns and I think for the kids to five years old to 12 you have to be 110 crowns and free under five years old but you can travel to around the lake the Helga Cone lakes it goes only uh, 190 crowns and uh, 90 crowns for the kids from five years old up but under five years old is for free uh, there are also a restaurant here and uh, just serve cup it's a coffee cup restaurant we just serve coffee and desserts or if you want to eat foods and they have also the local and uh, delicacies of Sweden guys I hope you like this video and yeah please like and comment and if you are not subscribed yet then consider subscribing to my channel and see you soon to my next video thank you bye bye